Well, somebody was a complete muppet last night and none of you noticed. I know, it's this morning. Yeah, bit of a senior moment. Talking about getting the test drums to work on the T-cards. In fact, I couldn't get them running on the 12AK chip and I had to do some jiggery pokery and all the rest of it and just was now. I was being a complete and utter muppet now. I'm glad I did it because it proved to me that I can do multi carts and all sorts by switching address lines, but it does work on the 128K chip without being modified. I was using the wrong bloody chip. Chip I should have been using was the 27C1001, which is a 128K chip. The chip I was using is an 040, which is a 512k chip. None of you noticed. I didn't notice. I'm sure people were screaming at the camera. Anybody who's any taking money said, You're using the wrong chip, you muppet. Well, I'm screaming back. I know. Oh, I know now. <laughs> I'll tell you. Sometimes your head goes right up your backside. Anyways. 128k chip, totally unmodified. 27c1001. As you can see, it runs fine. <laughs> but like I said, I, I'm glad I made the mistake I did. I, I'm really glad I made this mistake I did because it does prove that I could use any ROM I wanted in here and just manipulate the address lines they want with all the extra space on the card. I mean, I'm not going to need that ROM, I'm not going to need that ROM, I don't need anything in there. I've got plenty of space to mount a little PCB or something, have some switches and stuff, so. I can make myself a little multi-card with various testings on it, various programs on it. Just for more, just for more, you said it means a, a totally pointless exercise in its own right, probably because well, an MPU4 is a dedicated machine on it. You're not going to use it uh, with all sorts of different glasses and stuff. You're not going to keep all the different glasses for the different games, all the different characterizers and all the rest of it. But and it just goes to show you, no one's infallible. Anyway, how do you do it? Well, what you have to do is you download the UT2 or UT4 test program. Then, that gives you an AK image. And then, what you do is you then use the copy stroke B command to... Oh, I'll show you. By the way... Get yourself one of these. Chinese programmer. It's only about 25 quid, 30 quid posted. Surprisingly good quality. It works for Windows 10. It didn't work at first for Windows 10 for me, but since Windows 10 updated these USB drivers, it works fine. So anyway, um, I'll pause this a second to find... Right. This might be a wee bit tricky to do on camera, but anyway, I've got a phone call wrong with there. See ut2.p1. So what you do is you copy forward slash B to tell it you're copying binary. UT2 dot P1 plus UT2 dot P1 plus UT2 dot P1 Garage, garage, yes. Plus UT2 dot P1. And we have to give it a name, so we'll call it UT2 new dot bin. Because it's going to be a binary file anyway. When you're using you this, save everything as binaries because you have to set it as a binary file. Anyways, so if we hit return on that, and we do a dir again, we should see. There it's there. UT2 new, new dot bin. Gives us a 32k image. Now, if you have a 64 KT card, you just need to copy it once more. 
and do a B. Yeti to new dot bin plus Yeti to new dot bin. Um, we'll change this. Oh, we need to give a target name again, so we'll call it MPU4. Uh, I'm going to score 64k. Stop Ben. So. There we go. Dar. MPU4. Yes. Sixty four K dot bin. See you there, sir. We now have the sixty four K image and that would run fine on the That would run fine on your twenty seven C five twelve chip, your sixty four K ROM. In case you're wondering what all those different ROM numbers mean, five twelve O four ROM whatever, well when you get to the O four rows and O eight rows it gets a wee bit complex, but yeah. Basically, a ROM is measured in bits, not bytes. So 64K ROM is actually 512 bits, right? Yeah, 512, 500, 512 kilobits. But it's organized. Is 64 banks of 8 to give you 64 kilobytes. I, I probably as well better spend that in another video. But so when you're looking for the size uh, ROM you want, you take the number of kilobytes you want, and you know that's 64 k Let's see, is there a calculator up on? I don't know if I've got a calculator app on here. Hang on. There might be a calculator app on here. Yeah, there's one. Right. Okay. So you know you want a six, you know you need a 64k ROM. So the easiest way to work out what model ROM you want is do that. Maybe 512, so you after 27C512. If you want. So if you need a 128k ROM, you times to buy it again. And it gives you 1024, but what you'd actually be looking for is just concentrate on 1000, so you need a 27C1001. So this is two five six K ROM you're after. You just do the you just do the same. Two four eight so pair twenty seven C two thousand and one. That's the most common ROM ROMs you'd be dealing with. You need a five twelve K, it's uh twenty seven C four thousand and one. An O four ROM is quite a the O four O ROM I was using by accident is quite a bit bigger than that. But, like I said, it does allow me to do some nice crafty things. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. So the programs, so the program card I've got in there, except the 128k chip, it's not one of the T cards that can accept both. I double checked that, it doesn't have... The supply vault is going to the two different pins in these two, so we need to double this up again. So what we'll do is copy B. MPU4. Sixty-four. Key dot pin. You can be there for these Plus, children. Plus, MPU4. What was that? You haven't claimed previous old PPI. Okay, stop then. Give it the target as MPU4. Can you afford to miss out on up to 7,000? 1, 2, 8, K. Okay. Stop then. 
And then if we start again, we'll just start real quick here. It should be in there somewhere. Yeah. Yes, yeah. You see it around about there. Yeah. Now we've got a 128k image already. There's one I made there as well, MPU4 test 128. That's the one that's in the, the card just now. But that's, that's the image you want there. So now what you would do is you would burn that to ROM or even test it in the emulator. Now I'll show you in the emulator, hold on. So there we go, I've got the black layer on M MFME and selected that and that should not until I show you this yet. There you go. See it appear in the background? So it's e actually easy to get around that. When you're testing these in the emulator, make sure the data pack is set to look back. See there? Don't need anything else. I'll just clear the RAM and reset that. And that's the one two KM is running the emulator. Not a problem. Where are we gonna get some breakfast? Always so interested in history, are you? There you go. I think a good breakfast has more to us being here now than history. So that burned to a one two K ROM a twenty seven C one thousand and one will run no problem at all. And I thought it would. And it would have done had I put the right bloody ROM in the programmer the first time around. But like I said, I keep coming back to it. I'm glad I made the mistake. Because it's opened up the possibility of doing some little multi-cart things. Because there's different test programs on this. There's, there's, a, there's this. There's a real test as well. And there's a meter clear program. Be handy to have them all in the one cart. Well, handy for me anyway because I don't have an MPU4 machine handy. I believe a lot of bar crash ROMs have a lot of this test ROM built into them anyway. I mean, this the Unitest program actually has parts of Stake Up, Stake Up 100, in the ROM. If you look at the ROM code, Stake Up 100 is an early clubber machine. As you can see, yeah, so that'll be fine. So, I mean, that, that's what was confusing me so badly. Why does it work in the emulator and doesn't work in the physical ROM? If it works in the emulator, the emulator's an MPU4, it should work in the physical thing because the physical thing's an actual MPU4, and this is a computer doing its best to be an MPU4. And emulators are not perfect, so you would expect if the physical ROM had a problem, the image wouldn't work in the emulator. Well, anyway, there's, this video's gone on long enough now. Long video explaining a mistake I made. A wee bit of eating humble pie and all that and if you got confused by the last video I hope this clears things up. Alright, bye for now.